that you're not going to convince me that that that, uh, that, that there, there is there is uh, that there is not a problem with scripture when it comes to women that that's frankly it, 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 everyone will laugh at you if you try and convince if you try and convince us that any medieval religion is empowering of women because the truth is it's not Right. Um, you and I both know that the, the, the Quran, for example, I'll, I'll quote you another passage. It says, uh, beat your wives. Now, these are the sorts of passages. Um, it talks about um, uh, 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 wives having to obey their husbands. This is all in the Quran. Right. There's a there, and then it's not just in the Quran, of course, it's in the Old Testament as well. We, we know that m religions that were de developed in the medieval era have to be adapted and modernized for today. And unfortunately, in my so community, believe, your community, uh, that I adaption believe, is yet to happen Quran properly. Like the Bible's changed. Sorry? Do you believe that we should change uh, aspects of the Quran so that it adapts to the society today? I, I, so what's the point? You might as well throw the Quran out and say, I'm not a Muslim, because if you're not going to follow the book... Well, this is what, this is, Abdul, see, what you've just done there is exactly what a fundamentalist would argue. Say, Abdul, what? a fundamentalist would argue exactly what you've just argued. The way that I believe that it should be. Yeah, Do yeah. You know what so, I mean? so a Christian evangelical... Abdul, book, give me a second. Give me a Christian evangelical fundamentalist who argues that the world was created in, you know, whatever, like, uh, what, what did they say, 6,000 years ago? They argue exactly the same thing why are you why are you if you if you don't follow it word for word letter by letter then you're not really a christian what you've just done is articulated the case for fundamentalism you know the thing is uh, the quran is the word of god uh, the bible has changed many many times uh, oh, right, in many yeah. ways yeah um the quran is the word of god and yeah. you can't change the word of god because it only came down one time there's no other prophet to say yeah. oh you know what yeah. this is this is come down now that we can we can change here um all right. Example, so, uh, so then th that's why I'm asking you. So, when uh, when it says homosexuality in the Quran is forbidden, yeah. Um, but you can. I mean, at the end of the day, everybody oh, has the choice to do as they wish. Yeah. It's, it's it's a free world. You can do. I'm really you glad want. I let you speak, Abdul, because against, you're I've got you're. Friends are homosexual. Yeah, I've, I've got. Fr I'm not racist. Family. My friend's black. Listen, Abdul. I'm really glad I let you speak because by doing so, you're you're actually de demonstrating the problem here, which is somebody like you who's not prepared to uh, shift at all from the literal reading of scripture. Saying homosexuality is I'm condemned in the right. Quran. Well, what about this? What about so? If you're saying you don't want to, if you're saying you don't want to shift at all from Scripture, what about the fact that Scripture says explicitly, when it comes to your wives, if they don't obey you, fadribu hunna, beat them. What do you say about that? If you, if you, if you That's really in the Quran, Muslim, Abdul. What do you say about that? If you if you really are a Muslim and you're going to sleep tonight as a Muslim, remember, if you constantly attack the religion, Abdul, just answer my question. In, answer, Abdul. Listen, then, don't give me those rubbish warnings. I don't. Frankly, it doesn't scare me. I don't. I really. I don't really. Uh, that's not really the point, right? I'll sleep comfortably fine tonight. Thank you very much. Answer the question. You said you're not going to. You're not prepared to compromise anything in Scripture, and the Scripture clearly says fadri buhunna. The Quran says two husbands. If your wives don't obey you, beat them. If that's not a, a a cultural attitude towards women, what is? And lo and behold, Abdul puts the phone down, which happens every single time when I pose questions like that. Um, it's it's actually very well expected that people who are calling in, uh, I give them the ability, the, the leeway to speak in that way, precisely because if they if you give them a rope long enough, they end up um, they end up uh, exposing themselves in that way. A Abdul clearly uh, are expressing fundamentalist views, not prepared to compromise one bit on the scripture, saying if you adapt or modernize, you're not a Muslim. Well, that's precisely what Christian fundamentalists say as well. And if liberals, if, if white liberals are happy challenging the Bible belt within Christianity, then let people like me challenge our own Quran belt, because you just heard from Abdul precisely what we're up against. He says Quran, the Quran forbids homosexuality, so why are you defending gays? Well, yeah, you, you, you criticize Christian fundamentalists when they speak like that? Well, let me criticize Muslim fundamentalists when they speak in exactly the same way just because they got brown skin doesn't mean they are immune from us holding them to account by our liberal human rights based